Protests erupt in Taiwan against Chinese officials' visit to the island. As the Chinese delegation arrived, pro-Taiwan independence groups started sloganeering outside the airport. If we get the feeling that they, the delegation, are engaging in united front work, we won't give them a goodbye party when they leave. Instead, we will condemn and protest against them. So our welcoming attitude is based on this condition. Our hospitality has conditions. We welcome them, but at the same time we want them to be clearly aware that they have arrived in a country that's separate from the People's Republic of China. Our country is called Taiwan. We are here to welcome a Communist Party politician from Shanghai. We want to welcome him to our free and democratic Taiwan and hope he will learn what is freedom and democracy. The Chinese delegation was also welcomed by a few China supporters. The visit is the first in three years since the COVID-19 pandemic began. During the visit, the Chinese officials are scheduled to attend the Lantern Festival. The six-member delegation is led by Lu Xiaodong, who is the deputy head of the Shanghai branch of China's Taiwan Affairs Office. The Chinese dignitaries were invited by the regional government of the capital Taipei. The move marks Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen's government's cautious bid to reopen less sensitive people-to-people -people links, aiming to engender goodwill with China. The visit comes at a time when bilateral ties between China and Taiwan are at an all-time low. China considers Taiwan a part of its mainland. It believes that Taiwan's reunification with the mainland is inevitable. The ties between Beijing and Taipei turn sore after the U.S. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi's island visit last year. In response, China had staged massive military drills around Taiwan. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.